want to share something from one of my Rebbeim, even though I only ever met him once in my life. Uh, someone, I've spoken on the phone two or three times, but I consider him to be one of the most important rabbinical figures that we have in the world today, even though he's controversial and even though he's not mainstream, and I think that is kind of what makes him all that more important. It's Rabbi Ariel Bar Tzedok, Shlita, and he writes the following, he wrote this yesterday, and I posted it, I shared it, and one of my friends, uh, an old Chavrusa, was very offended by it, and I... I want to read this over. And first of all, it says Judaism is a wonderful religion for Jews. Christianity is a oh. Christianity is a wonderful religion for Christians. That's what he was offended by. This was a former Christian who was now Jewish. Uh, we are nat a naturally extended family, serving God each in our own unique way. Why then do deceptive religious provocateurs come along and try to destroy both faiths? One can be Jewish, or one can be Christian. One cannot be both at the same time. One is Christian, then live by your faith. Leave Judaism to the Jews. If one is Jewish, then live by halacha, and leave Yeshu or Jesus to the Christians. One cannot be a kosher camel. One cannot be faithful to one's spouse all the while that one is committing adultery. I celebrate the wonderful relationship that Jews and Christians have worked so hard to build after such a long and ugly past. We must now again join forces to root out those who are tr trying to pervert both faiths. And those who cause so much division, strife, and mistrust among us. There is no legitimate thing as Messianic Judaism based on Yeshu or Jesus, nor is there a, such a legitimate thing as Judaic Christianity based on Judaizing. Be Christian, be, be Jewish, be Christian, be wonderful. Let us work together to bring peace on earth and goodwill towards men. Please work out to root out all those who seek to sabotage this sacred work. And that's it. Now, I think he was offended by the idea of that, uh, that we can work together. He wasn't offended by the idea that, uh, that, that there should not be any uh, you know, messianics or, or Judaizers. I, I know this friend of mine agrees with that. But he was offended this idea that we could work together. He's offended by the idea that we can say another religion is beautiful. He didn't say it's true. He didn't. He didn't there's nothing. He said. He, he said it's wonderful. He didn't even say it's beautiful. He said it's wonderful. Wonderful means nifla. It's wonderful. It's very nice that that you know, and 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 it's true. I see people who are Christians. They have a beautiful relationship with God in their way, even though we disagree with their theology. I might think it's either idolatrous or heretical, one or the other, or maybe both. I mean, certainly if it's idolatrous, it's, it's heretical. But that doesn't mean that we cannot live in peace with them. We cannot appreciate the positive aspects. And also, we recognize we're in exile. We're not, you know... We, we do things the way that they do things. We do things our way, they do things their way, and that's it. And the thing is, uh, this is the way of our gedolim. And, you know, this, this one friend, he's very upset, the chief rabbi of England has friendly relations with people of other religions. But that's been the way of our chazal and our, and our gedolim throughout history. You know, when the Chassam Sefer would go visit the bishop in Preshburg, he would put on his shtrimel, he'd put on Big Day Shabbos. You know that, that Rav Yaakov Endin, he wrote very, 
positive things about Christianity and lived uh, and, and had very good relationships with the bishop there in the in 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 the in where he lived. So this is uh, this is the way that our Godolim have lived. The same thing, you know. Uh, Rabbi Soloveitchik was very good friends with the bishop in Boston. This is the way that our Godolim conducted themselves. Satmarov, he would show respect to the bishop of Satumare. These are the way that, that we conducted ourselves. That we had amicable, friendly relations with people of other faiths and respected each other. It doesn't mean that we accept these other religions. It doesn't mean that we agree with them. But we have to live in a polite society and we can recognize the things that we have in common. You know, if we're fighting against the, you know, the, the Democrats want to murder babies and and and, uh, and and we can agree that that we we might have different views about what it is exactly but we want to get together to fight against that or to fight against uh, it's, we already lost the battle redefinition of marriage things like this why can't we join together with with the Christians to to fight against evil in the world I'm asking, you know. Thank you for, and and that wasn't even the point of what, of of what he was writing. But uh, and, but it, it, but in fact, it goes along with what Rav Yaakov Enden said. That uh, the, you know, why did he write the very positive things about Christianity? Because because he was afraid that some Christian Gentiles would be enticed to follow the Sabbateans. And he had a big fight to protect it, not only the Kalisho, but the war, but the world from the evil of of, of the students of Shabbat Tzvi Yemachshemay. We've got to know some history. You can't just make statements. Oh, you know, meaning you're you're a younger man. You know, you've been in Yiddishkeit for for fifteen years, and you know better than a rabbi who's in his sixties. Right, who, who, who knows all the shas and poiskim and and sifre kabbalah and everything cold, and and uh, and this and, and and but you you you, you're, but but you know better. Come on, grow up. Thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, share, and subscribe. Th thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Comment. We'll see you later. You found yeah. it. Yeah. What is that? It's a it's a thing that tags in the number. This looks like something you wrote, because you... How do I turn this off? Go on.